Hello friends welcome to Shiksharthi in this session we shall be talking about Hello friends welcome to Shiksharthi in this session we shall be discussing rational inequalities so let's start now the type of rational inequality that we are going to talk about here is wherein the multiplication of two different functions real number functions will be greater than 0 So when we are talking about rational inequality here we are basically talking about real numbers. So what I have done here is I am dividing this session into two parts wherein on the left hand side of the screen I am going to discuss about the theory part and on the right hand side of the screen I am going to discuss an example thereafter. So first let us talk about the theory. So I have taken a function like 5x which is a combination of two functions hx and gx and the combination is being facilitated by the help of a mathematical operator which is multiplication and then thereafter we are solving the inequality phi x is greater than 0 what is the first thing that we need to do here is we need to find out the domain of phi x and the domain of phi x is nothing but domain of gx which is one of the functions intersected with the domain of hx once you have done this then the second thing that you are expected to do here so this is the first thing that you are expected to do the second thing that you are expected to do here is make two cases now what are the two cases that we are expected to do here so the first case is when would be the product of two numbers be positive the product of two numbers will be positive only when both the numbers are positive or both the numbers are negative at the same time here uh, since we are talking about functions so the first case would be gx should be positive hx should be positive and then we are looking for the solution set so the solution set would be the intersection of all these three this will give you the solution set the second case that we have made here or we are going to make here would be when gx is negative hx is also negative and then this intersected with the domain of phi x so when you are coming down to the final solution from here please remember since you have found up two cases so let us say the solution that you are getting from here is s1 and the solution that you are getting from here is s2 you take the union of this this would be the ultimate solution set to understand this better let us discuss this with the help of an example so what is the domain of x real numbers what is the domain of x square minus 1 that also is real numbers so what is the domain of phi x the domain of phi x is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity second now when you are making two cases So the first case is you would say x is greater than zero. X square minus one is greater than zero, and then you need to take this with the. I mean, you need to take this as an intersection with x is greater than minus infinity, and x is less than plus infinity. You need to work out the solution set for this. the second solution set that you are expected to work out is x less than 0 x square minus 1 less than 0 this intersection with x is greater than minus infinity and less than plus infinity we need to work out the intersection set for this and then final answer would be the union of the solution sets that we would be getting individually from these two cases so for this now you already know how to solve quadratic inequality if you do not know this then please uh do our session on 
quadratic inequality so that you are able to understand this better so now what we are going to do here is uh, we will draw a number line to get the solution set for this this is on this side and the, another number line on the other side what are the points that we are expected to make 0 minus 1 plus 1 so the first case is x is greater than 0 second case x square minus 1 is greater than 0 this is possible now x square minus 1 is greater than 0 only when x is less than minus 1 and x is greater than plus 1 third x extends from minus infinity to plus infinity what will you do now you will take the intersection of all the three but before you take the intersection of all the three let me solve the other case also x is less than 0 in this case which is this a line from minus infinity to plus infinity x square minus 1 is less than 0 means x lies between minus 1 and plus 1 and then the third case is x extends from minus infinity to plus infinity okay time to take the intersection in both the cases so when we are taking the intersection in both the cases what are we expected to do let us see that we are expected to find out the common area between the three the common point which is this this and this so the common point that we get from here is x is greater than plus one union with what is the common point that we get from here so the common point that we are getting from here is this portion this portion and this portion which is just like saying x lying between minus 1 and 0 if I have to check the final answer here I need to check the final answer here so while I am checking the final answer All I can do here is I can substitute some values from here to see whether the answer is correct or not. So let us substitute one value uh, between minus 1 and 0. Let's say minus 1 by 2. So if I substitute minus 1 by 2, I get minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 minus 1 which is negative. So negative into negative becomes positive. So that is, so this one is correct. The solution set that I would have got from here. Is it correct? Yes, it is. Okay, the next is, let us take a value which is greater than 1. So, which is, in this case, let me take the value of x as 2. 2 into 2 square minus 1. So, 2 is positive. So, is 2 square minus 1. So, positive into positive is greater than 0. Yeah? So this would become my final solution set. Let me see the values which we have not considered. So we have not considered values from uh, minus infinity to minus 1. Let me take one such value as minus 2. Substitute minus 2 here. So minus 2 into something which is positive gives me negative which is not to be considered which is correct also. And the value that we have not considered here is 0 to 1 minus infinity to minus 1 we are not we have not considered here which is correct and the second part which we have not considered here is 0 to 1 so let us take one value from 0 to 1 let's take the value of x as 1 by 2 so when i substitute x is equal to 1 by 2 here so 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 whole square minus 1 so 1 by 2 is positive but 1 by 2 whole square minus 1 is negative so a positive into negative is not to be considered because in that case it becomes lesser than 0 which also certifies that my solution set is correct.